So you're probably here because you want to know what the human design incarnation cross is all about and why it even matters. Well, you're in the right place because I'm going to help you cut through the confusion and tell you exactly what you need to know. And by the end of this video, you'll learn what the incarnation cross is, what you can learn from your incarnation cross, what the three types of incarnation crosses are and what they mean and how you can learn more about your own incarnation cross. And if you enjoy this video and want to continue to learn and deepen your understanding of human design, I would be so grateful if you could show me some love, hit that like button and subscribe to my channel. And with that said, Hi, my name is Crystal Alferrero, and I'm your fun-loving human design reader, guide, and educator, and host of the Magnetic Self Podcast. So this week, I wanted to cover the aspect of human design that addresses one of life's biggest questions, and that's, what is my life purpose? And this is a question that many of us at some point in our lives feel called to answer. We feel called to seek that deeper meaning to life itself, you know? what did my soul set out to do in this lifetime? And thankfully, human design provides us with the clues to answer this question through the incarnation cross. Now, let's just dive in. So first up, what is the incarnation cross? Well, first of all, your incarnation cross is determined by your personality or conscious sun gate and your profile on your human design chart. Luckily, you do not need to do much work to find exactly what it is since you can discover it right here in the chart summary if you pull your chart off of mybodygraph.com. Now, what can your incarnation cross tell you? Well, your incarnation cross is basically your true purpose, your destiny if you believe in that, or that contract that your soul signed before you incarnated into this lifetime. You can see it as the intended storyline of your life. And learning more about your incarnation cross can help you discover your own unique path and feel that sense of relief when you can finally recognize and have a name to that incredible journey that you're on. And in total, there are 192 different possible crosses, crosses, sorry, in essence, 192 different life themes. So for anyone who's already done their body graph chart, just let me know in the comments, what is your incarnation cross? So what are the three types of incarnation crosses? Well, like I mentioned earlier, your cross is determined by your personality or conscious sun gate. So it's that top right number on your body graph chart that corresponds to one of the 64 gates in human design. And within each gate, there are three different variations of the incarnation crosses each which are a different type of life theme. So you have your number one, your right angle crosses, number two, juxtaposition cross, and number three, your left angle crosses. Now, if you have a right angle incarnation cross, you have a personal destiny. So in other words, a journey of self-discovery and each right angle cross or personal life theme appears four times in the year. So that's four different variations of each right angle cross. And it's also the most common type of cross to have. Now, in order to determine which specific variation of your cross you have, just take a look at your personality gate, like I mentioned earlier. You would then correspond it back to the incarnation cross index in the definitive book of human design, or just search it online to specifically tell you which variation you have. But if you don't have a copy of that book and you can't find the index, don't worry. You can also check out another website that I've linked in the description down for you below to help you map that out. So if you have a juxtaposition cross, you have a fixed life destiny. In other words, a fixed trajectory through life. This is the rarest or in other words, least common of the crosses. And lastly, if you have a left angle cross, you have a transpersonal or interpersonal destiny. In other words, a journey of really impacting others you come across in your path. And this can mean a supervising role, providing leadership and education, or being a guide and teacher with the responsibility to advise others. And you're here to clean up karma. In other words, that mess that other people have left behind. And each left angle cross appears twice in the year, so there are two variations of each left angle cross. Again, you can determine your specific variation in the same method I explained for the right angle crosses earlier in this video. As you might have seen already, your specific life theme, so if your left juxtaposition or right angle, is already in your chart summary. 
But if you're interested in the mechanics of it, I just wanted to add that it's determined by your specific profile. So looking at that fraction looking number that comes up in your chart summary. So if you have any of these profiles, you have a right angle cross. If you have any of these profiles, you will have a left angle cross. And if you have any of these profiles, you will have a juxtaposition cross. So how can you learn more about your own incarnation cross? Well, if you're interested in digging into your own incarnation cross, there are two main ways I'd recommend to get more information. So number one, if you're interested in the more DIY route, I highly recommend this book, The Book of Destinies by Chetan Parkin. It's, in my opinion, very well written and very easy to understand and not totally esoteric like some other sources I've come across. Um, and obviously number two is to book a human design reading. A human design reader can do all the heavy lifting for you and really help you navigate your chart in a way that's practical, understandable, and very time efficient. So you don't have to spend your time trying to gather all of this information on your own. And if you're wanting to get that extra help and would like to do a human design reading, I do offer one-to-one -one readings that include a 60 minute zoom call plus a detailed 30 page human design chart analysis report for your own learning and reflection that you can always use as a resource guide. And I'll leave a link for you in the description down below. So I just want to wrap up this video by saying that your incarnation cross will come into play when you begin to live according to your true self. So basically when you start to make decisions that are in alignment to you and not influenced by your external conditioning that may hold you back. And there's a quote in the definitive book of human design that states, we don't awaken to our cross, we awaken in it. So essentially when you live according to your strategy and authority, and when you start to live as your authentic self, your purpose naturally takes place and it naturally unfolds. And so to summarize what we covered in this episode, we talked about what the incarnation cross is, what you can learn from your incarnation cross, what the three types of crosses are and what they mean, and how you can learn more about your own incarnation cross. And again, if you enjoyed this video, I'd be so grateful if you could show me some love, hit that like button and subscribe to continue to learning more about the wonderful human design system. So with that said, have an amazing day or evening wherever you are, and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye.